Hi and welcome to our Telehealth video information series. My name is Garvin and this video is on isotrexin gel. So what is isotrexin gel used for? Isotrexin is indicated for the topical treatment of moderate acne. And how does isotrexin work? Isotrexin contains two active ingredients. Isotretinoin, which is a form of vitamin A, and erythromycin, which is an antibiotic. When applied to the skin, isotretinoin is taught to loosen the cells in the surface of the skin. This helps to unblock pores so that the skin's natural oil producing glands can function normally. Isotretinoin also increases the turnover of the skin cells which aids the natural exfoliation of the outer layers of skin. This also helps to unblock pores and decrease the formation of blackheads and spots. <coughs> Isotretinoin also helps reduce inflammation in the skin. Erythromycin works by attacking the bacteria associated with acne. Propanionin bacterium acnes, that's the bacteria. So this is a common type of bacteria that feeds on sebum, which is the oil produced by the sebaceous glands in the skin. It produces waste products and fatty acids that irritate the sebaceous glands, making them inflamed and causing spots. By controlling bacterial numbers, erythromycin brings the inflammation of the sebaceous glands under control and allows the skin to heal. It may take six to eight weeks of treatment with isotrexin before definite beneficial effects on the skin can be seen. Ideally, it shouldn't be used for more than 12 weeks at a time because they increase the likelihood of the bacteria becoming resistant to the antibiotic. If your acne appears to be getting worse at any point, you should go to your doctor. How do you use isotrexin gel? You wash and dry the skin before applying the gel. Isotrexin should be applied thinly over the affected area of skin once or twice a day, as directed by your doctor. Take care to avoid getting the gel in the eyes, mouth or nose and make sure the gel doesn't build up in the skin, creases or the sides of the nose. Wash your hands after applying the gel. Don't apply the gel to broken areas of skin or areas affected by eczema. If your skin is sunburnt, don't apply isotrexin until your skin is fully recovered as it may potentially cause severe irritation to the skin. Don't use isotrexin any more frequently than directed by your doctor as this won't make it any more effective or work any quicker. It may also make your skin very red or irritated to st and start peeling. So what should you know before using isotrexin gel? Isotrexin is flammable. Don't use it near any naked flame or heat source or while smoking. When you first start using isotrexin, it may cause temporary stinging or feeling of warmth on the skin. When used correctly, it will usually make your skin slightly red, like mild sunburn, but this will settle with time. So if you get any severe redness, swelling, itching, burning sensation, or blistering, or peeling of your skin after using isotrexin, you should apply it less frequently or stop using it temporarily. If the um, irritation persists, you should stop using isotrexin completely and go back and discuss this with your doctor. Isotrexin may increase the sensitivity of your skin to UV light. Protective treated skin from sunlight with sunscreen or clothing while using it, and even on a bright but cloudy day, do not use sunbeds or sun lamps. Isotrexin gel should be used with caution in people with eczema or rosacea, getting the gel on the areas of skin affected by eczema or rosacea, and people with a personal or family history of skin cancer, and people with sensitive areas of skin, such as the neck, people with a history of bowel inflammation or colitis, particularly if associated with antibiotic use. So who shouldn't use isotrexin gel? Children under 12 years of age, and women who are pregnant or breastfeeding. People who are allergic to any of its ingredients, so check the ingredient list on the leaflet that comes with the gel if you know you have specific allergies or intolerances. So what are the possible side effects of isotrexin gel? Skin irritation at the application site, so stinging and burning or itchy. 
increased sensitivity of the skin to sunlight and changes in skin pigmentation, abdominal pain or diarrhea. Stop using resotrexin gel. See your doctor if you get severe or prolonged diarrhea. And negligible amounts of isotretoin are absorbed into the bloodstream when it's applied to the skin. So it's not associated with the same side effects as isotretinoin capsules. Talk to your doctor or pharmacist if you want any more information on the possible side effects of isotrexin gel. So can you use other medicines with isotrexin? Don't use acne products that contain benzyl peroxide at the same time of day as isotrexin because they could make it less effective. If you need to use benzyl peroxide product, use it at a different time of day to isotrexin gel. Your skin is more likely to get irritated or dry if you use other skin products alongside isotrexin. For example, cosmetics, soaps, cleansers, toiletries or other anti-acne products, particularly those containing high concentrations of alcohol, astringents or peeling agents. If your skin gets particularly dry or irritated with combined use, then stop using the other products temporarily or use them less often. So that brings this telehealth video to an end. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below or contact us to our website, mytelehealth.info. Or call into us at Lynch's Pharmacy in Douglas and Cork. Or ring us at 021-436-6923 to find out more. Thank you for watching. Stay healthy and stay informed.